Hello, my darling friends. Happy bloody Monday to you. And welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the final part of the Goths. 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 Why does that sound weird now? Why do I keep doing that? Something's happening. The age of Aquarius. Things are happening. Things are getting strange and spooky. I keep see seeing numbers everywhere that are all in repetitive things. I keep getting signs. It's all going on. I don't know why I went into that. And I'm also fucking freezing still because my boiler is completely broken. And they can we have to get a whole new boiler for my house. So I have no hot water, no central heating. I can't wash my dishes. <laughs> in my dishwasher this is all first world problems i'm going to go into that after as well my washing machine won't heat up either because yeah it works on gas heating water and whatnot um so I'm, i've got one fan heater that just heats up the room that i'm in <laughs> whatever room that i'm in um so what i'm having to do i don't know why i'm saying this but you're my friends and i think you would love to hear it what i'm having to do is like heat up a saucepan of water on the induction hob Take it, take it up in a bucket to the bathroom and wash myself in the shower. And then I was thinking, this isn't that bad. I might be cold. There are people out there that are homeless. They are cold all the time. They don't get to have hot water. They, and it put it in perspective of me. I can do this. Stop being such a fucking privileged asshole, Aiden. And crack on with your week, for goodness sake. And as soon as I started thinking like that, I was like, do you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's freeze our nips off all week in the house. That's why I'm wearing my big, fluffy yellow jumper today, because it's keeping me warm. And as soon as I put things into perspective, I was like, do you know what? I feel a lot better now. And I do. I feel a whole lot better. So, today we are cracking on with the final part of the goths, my loves. We are going to be getting the bedrooms furnished today. Uh, there's a butler. I will introduce you to Reginald in a minute. I've made his sleeping quarters along with um, his bathroom and the what, which connects to the wine cellar area and also a small kind of uh, utility room with the washing machine and dryer in there as well. So I did that off camera. I will show you in just a second. So we'll crack on. We'll do Cassandra's, Alexander's and then obviously Mortimer and Bella's bedroom as well. We'll, we'll crack on with that today too. So yes, don't worry. We're going to be starting another house for Let's Build the Worlds this week as well. Probably start that on Wednesday. Tomorrow is going to be another Design Me Devon. And this week coming is going to be my shell challenge, my love. So I've been promising you a shell challenge. More details when I actually release that video. I think that video is going to maybe replace the speed build on the Friday because it is going to be a kind of speed build. Might not, might be coming on Thursday and I might still do a speed build on Friday. I don't know yet. I'm just going to wing this week and see what happens. <sighs> Without further ado, let's just get into game and I'm going to flop you around the house and show you what I've done. Okay, my loves. So we are back. We are in the goth household. Um, Mortimer is putting stuff into the computer to do with his medically things. Is someone playing the piano? Oh. Excuse you very much. Cassandra was reading a little book there. And this is the butler. This is Reginald. This here, my love, is Reginald Parker. His family, the Parker family, have been in the Goth family for years working as their butlers. Yes, absolutely happening. Um, and this is the little area here. So where the entrance is, is through the kitchen. I thought it would have been nice to be near the kitchen being a butler and whatnot. So he's got his little walk down here. I may even box this in so it can, this can be like heated, if you know what I mean. It's not open to the elements. In fact, yeah, we'll do that. We'll put a door here so this is all like kind of indoors. This is his little bedroom area here. Very nice, very sophisticated, very black, very goth. But I have used a little bit of dark wood in here as well. Um, Just generic. He's got everything that he would need. He's got his own big bathroom downstairs as well. And also a nice utility room here to do all the laundry and whatnot. And then, what not? What not? Oh, I'm not even central. Oh, I hate that. I'm just very fuming. Um, and then obviously there's e entrance here now into the wine cellar. So you can still get through underneath the stairs in our imaginations. But, um, but yes, I'm very much for it. I really am. So I think, without further ado, he is whipping up a very late feast. Everyone should be in bed, but they haven't got bedrooms, so it cannot happen. 
So yeah, let's get upstairs and we're going to start renovating. So I think we'll start with the master suite because the master suite is quite a bit. It's a big room. It's got outside space as well. It's also got a dressing room area here and it's got its own ensuite. And then obviously we've got um, Cassandra and Alexander's room here. I think I'm going to give uh, Alexander the smaller room and let Cassandra have the slightly bigger room. It's only fair, you know? So yes, let's crack on. Again, keeping with the themes. Can't really say that I'm going to be using any of the new furniture for this house because I just don't think it will fit with this house at all. Um, if you are unsure what I mean by new furniture, we had a new pack called the Paranormal Stuff Pack from Sims 4. I did, my last video was a kind of re mini review of it. Um, so if you do wish to go and check that out, you can. Yes. Oh, I like that bed. <laughs> I actually like that bed in this room. I think it's nice. It's stylish. It's semi-modern. I'm here for it. It's in black. It's happening. So, maybe I could use some of the new side tables. Oh, no, I wouldn't mind like a, yes, like a lower, a lower side table here. I will have to shift these lights that will be behind it, but I'm not going to let that come between us, my darlings. I'm not. Um, If you hear a bork in the variety of a blue in a minute, it's because I do have two deliveries on its way today and they are coming within the next couple of hours. So, if they do come and you hear a bork, that's blue letting me know that my delivery is coming and it better hurry up because I'm very hungry and I need my gusto. Still enjoying it by the way, really really enjoying gusto. Apart from I had a plant-based carbonara the other day. Oh it was awful, <laughs> it was really disgusting. I just really really didn't like it. Um, It came with soya cream and I thought oh my god this looks lovely. The bacon smelled really nice, like it smelled like that smoky bacon flavour. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, but no, absolutely not for me. Absolutely not for me at all. Um, so I'm hoping that there are other ways to make plant-based kind of like carbonaras and pasta sauces and stuff because I just didn't like the taste of soya cream. Is there anybody out there that is well-versed in plant-based creams and stuff or sauces like cooking sauces? Let me know because I cannot, I could not deal with that that was awful <laughs> it really was i've never urged <laughs> while eating something well i have that's a lie um while eating something before i'm not getting filthy here either and i know where your mind's going um i actually urged when i was eating it it was the taste it was the texture of the bacon as well it was just all wrong sorry but they need to go back to the drawing board with stuff like that but um Yes, the end. <gasps> Maybe we could do now. Not a teapot top here, Aiden. It needs to be a modern. Oh, oh, Jean Paul, indeed. Yes. All right, Aiden. It's not a herbal essence is out of it. You just hear me. Yes. Like, f what false advertising is that to males out there thinking that they can uh, please a female so easily? Definitely not, my darlings. And most males don't know how to do it anyway. Let me just tell you that, darlings. <laughs> I know. I know. I've, I've I've got many a female friend. And you're all doing it wrong. <laughs> all you men doing it wrong out there. <laughs> well, not all of you. That's a bit bad. But <laughs> many of you. <laughs> just trust me. Gays and girls talk, darling. Gays and girls talk. <laughs> okay, I like that. I do. I do like that. Again, we're keeping this place minimal. I don't want to do too much stuff in here. Don't need to put like drawers or anything out here either. Well, maybe we could put like a couple of chests of drawers here because this is going to be a um, walk, like a walk-in wardrobe moment anyway. I am going to move that slightly there because it will give me more room on this side to be able to put stuff. So maybe we should stick out here and choose some wardrobes first. I may just do two of the wardrobes from... Why am I clicking on everything but the bedroom? Um, From Snowy Escape. I think it would work well in here if I did two of them. Let's have a look. Oh, you fit in a dream as well. Oh, yes. I'm full that, I tell you. Can I, like, overlap them? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, they're the tickets. Look how flush they sit to the wall as well. <gasps> oh, very much full that. I really am. Um, I think they do need to... Um, I may like move the windows across like one there and one there just because they were sitting right to the edge of the like room like bit and I'm not for that yeah I'm gonna do that 
And then we'll use the um blah, blah, this one here. The only decent thing that came with my first pets. I'm sorry, but I've said it and I mean it. <laughs> I said it and I mean it. And then I think here, a really lovely mirror. Just like a maybe that triple mirror. If you hear snoring, blue snoring. He's very cute and I cannot stop him from snoring. So we're just going to have to deal with it if you do hear him snoring. <laughs> oh, have I got my half, I mean my quarter tile placement on? I did. It just didn't feel like it then. Yes. Yes, that's happening. Right. And then I'm going to be putting, I'm channeling Doonal Bird today. I've just watched one of her videos and I was very much for it. So you're going to have to excuse me. She's an icon and I absolutely stand her and I cannot help it, you know? Oh, for that, really am. Again, keeping it minimal. I want this place to look minimal. I love minimalist. I love minimalist anything, but I really love minimalist. Minimalist modern. Minimalist. Minimalist. <laughs> See, that sounds weird now as well. Imagine being called minimalist. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, Aiden? Stop it. Stop talking shit, please. For goodness sake. Can I bring a bit of brown in here? Oh, I do like that. I do. Yep, we're doing it. Fuck okay, it, you know? Why not? Why not? And we do a his and hers. Even though the hers is missing at the minute. Missing. Missing. And she actually disappeared as well. She went for uh, a walk. And why do they look completely different colours now? Why? Stop it. I hate when you do that. Oh, God, I hope the light and engine in Sims 5 is so much better than Sims 4. Um, yeah, she actually went missing when she went for a walk. She went for a walk around the park, the local park, which we will be building as well. We've got obviously that 50 by 50 park lot. She was in there and she just disappeared off the face of the earth, never to be seen again. Well, will she be seen again? <gasps> the law is coming through, loves. The law is coming through. But, um, yeah, she was gone. She was gone. They've searched high. I reckon the time frame for the time that she's been gone. I reckon she's been gone for about six months, half a year. All of her friends are out posting pictures and going door to door, even in other worlds. Um, but to no, no luck. No luck. Very sad. Very sad day. But yeah, I kind of... Oh, hmm. Do you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm just going to do one chest of drawers. One chest of drawers, and then this area over here. Can, will that fit on that wall there? Oh, it does. It's rather lovely as well. And then what I can do here is have like a little seating area. Yes, that's happening. Maybe I could use the new sofa. I am very much doubt it because um, it has got pillows and stuff all over it. And the blue's on it. I don't want blue in here. No, maybe we could use the new armchair instead. Sorry, I had a little cough then. Do excuse me. Um, Oh, these will go in here. Oh, yeah. Look at these bloody armchairs. They're, the best, they're my favourite armchairs in game now. Quite easily my favourite armchair in game. I would love to have an armchair like this. IRL. I really would. So, I reckon a bookcase in here. I reckon a bookcase and a stylish couple of armchairs here and here. Because we can have seating outside. So, it just makes sense to have a bit more... Uh, or a bit less even like seating inside. That took me ages to get that out then. Um, what lights did you come with? Nah, not feeling the vibes of any of them in here. I'm sorry. I think it needs to be a very nice, just modern lamp, to be honest. I'm gonna go for the one from Tiny Living. A bit mid-century, very much for it. If I can pop you there, pull you in slightly. Oh, I'm very much for that, really am. And then a bookcase moment over this side. Um, can I use the Moschino one in here? I mean, I could. But I think that would be more suited for the teen's bedrooms. Where's the skylight here? I need to remember that. Yeah, I think that's kind of in the middle anyway. Yeah, it is. Look, okay, it would be better if it was actually in the middle of it, though. So let's do that. Um, I think it was just one, actually. Maybe not. Let's have a look. No, it needs to go another one. I was right. It was two. Listen to that intuition, Aiden. Listen. Listen and you shall prevail. <laughs> so maybe I'll use this one in here instead. Oh, that goes with the floor lovely. That goes with the floor lovely very much so. So I think I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit more 
them, I think. Oh, that's very nice. I've, I will litter this place up with a bit more objects there. Okay. Just going to put a little bit of venting out again with more slot pieces. Why did they think it wasn't necessary to put a slot on this bit here? Like, why? Why was that, like, never a thought process when this object was made? And you know what? Maybe that, that's big enough to, like, put something on it. Should we put a slot there? No. No, they won't want that. They won't want it. Well, I tell you what, we do want it. For goodness. Oh, fed up. <laughs> really am. Should I do two? No, that's a bit overkill. I'll do one, though. Excuse you. I want one. Thank you. Yes, I like that. Do we want some art in here? I just made that fucking noise. I've, I've, I've been noticing that in day-to-day -day life now as well. Me, like, sucking in like a heathen. Sometimes you just can't help your little things. But, oh, that was a very big, beautiful stretch blue. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, sometimes you can't help your little mannerisms and your even... Evens? Your... What was I trying to say then? Evens? What? Mannerisms and what? <laughs> mannerisms and who? <laughs> but, yeah, we'll go down that route. Yeah, sometimes you can't help them. Oh, that's nice, but it's not for here. Oh, I don't know. I quite like that. I know it's a bit big. I don't think we can put art up there just because of how high the headboard is. So I'm not going to do it. I was going to use the Moschino. Um, you know, you know, this one. But again, very large. But I could maybe. Ugh. I do want that in here. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have that. A bit larger there. And then I'm going to put a mirror above the bed. Because Mortimer likes to watch. <laughs> he does. But don't we all? You know? When it comes down to it, don't we fucking all? <laughs> watching every watching yourself in the, the throes of passion is, is a pastime that I'm very much for. <laughs> uh, I'm joking, by the way. <laughs> okay and another rug out here should we just go for the same rug that we used in there the dark gray but maybe size it up size it up and put it oh that's an oh that's an yes oh yes yes i like that oh no i don't know no i think i just want it like maybe at the end of the bed yeah maybe like there oh very much so yes oh this is a nice bedroom it's come together really nicely actually yeah, I'm for that. I also did put a classic painting in the house, like I said, I was going to. And I've used this one here. And we can um, pretend that this is maybe Bella's father. Um, Yes. Is Bella's father in-game? I don't think he is. I know Mortimer's was back in, what, Sims 2, was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, so we want seating areas out here. Again, I want the moody lighting moment to be out here. I'm not going to put in any overhead lighting. I'm just going to use these ones. I'm not going to size them down either. And I'm going to put them there, there, and there. Oh, stunning. And I would... Mortimer's a surgeon, so I reckon he likes to keep fit. So I am going to put a treadmill out here, I think. Just so he's got somewhere to come and have a little workout. And he would only have the best treadmill. So we're going to go for this one here, which is three... Oh, I don't really like that one. Um, We'll go for this one instead then. Is there any more? Oh, I don't really like this one either bit chunky oh do you know what screw it we're gonna do that one and then i'll put another mirror out here as well i think it's only right you know and mm, no we'll just use the normal i want to use the free one that's a bit large a bit large that so i'll overlap low overlap two of them instead and then move that just a little bit more into it you know oh stunning and then here i can just do a little seating moment out this area here <clears throat> Don't know what seats though to use. So let me find one. There we go. I've used these ones here. I forget what pack these come with. I never tend to use them because I don't really like them. City living. I just think it suits in here. It's a bit of drama. A little bit of drama out there. The new plant. Nice little table. And I think that area is what I want it to be really. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, into here we go. Um, I'll do that bathroom in a sec. I think we should move on to the bedroom. So I think first I'm going to do Alexander's bedroom. So... I reckon he is very much into music. 
I don't know why I just get this big fight. I think he's going to be in a band as well. I'd like Alexander to be in a band with a few of the other teens that I'm going to put around the world. That is happening. So I think we, first off, we do need to put some um, blinds in here because we don't want anybody just nosing and peeking at Alexander's past to what he's in his bed, Chewy darlings. No, is the answer to that. So that is there. That is happening. And then I'm going to be putting a bed up here. Absolutely stunning. And then I think... <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm just, just ripping off Juno's um, sayings today, even more so than normal. But I can't help it. She's a queen, as I said before. And... <laughs> oh, I don't like this bed, but I think it would suit Alexander. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to put this right next to this. So I'm not going to have a side table on one side. I'm just going to keep it like that and then have a side table on this side. Yes. Yes, please. Okay. So music wise up here, we're not going to get space really to be able to put in. I would have loved that like DJ mixing station. Let me see how big that is. I mean, it does fit. It does fit in here. So I think I'm going to use it and then I can put some other like instruments and stuff around the room so he can mix his own music and whatnot. I think that is perfectly fine there. Yes. Do they need, do they stand up on this or do they need a chair? I can't remember. I think they stand, don't they? Yeah, they stand because it's tall. Look. Yes. Okay. So we'll do that. And then I'll go into here and get some more um, instruments out for him. So I think they've got a piano downstairs. So he doesn't really need one upstairs. I reckon he's a bit of a whiz on the piano too. Do we have a all black guitar? I don't think we do. I think the only one that we do have is that like Grim Reaper one. Oh no, this one here is. Oh yes, that's very much him. Yes, that one. Is that the Grim Reaper one? No, it's not. I don't have that one. I'm very fuming about it. Not that I would, I just banged my mic. I'm so sorry. Um, Not that I'm too worried, but yeah, I reckon he would be very much into his musicals. He's a very musical sim. He is very musical indeed. So I do think he would actually need a stereo in here as well. Now, I would reckon he'd probably be a bit of a hipster, so he might be a bit into a bit of vinyl. I'm ordering my first turntable soon as well, so I'm so excited. I've always wanted to collect vinyl, um, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it, and it's going to happen. And um, yeah, the end. Thank you for coming. <laughs> oh, they're all shit. They're all shit. And what I mean by shit is the swatches. That doesn't go in here. It looks very silly. Very silly indeed. Neither, does, neither do you. So I'm just going to have to put a big stereo in here instead. Where can I put you? Um, I think the only place I can put you is in this corner, which is fine. I don't really mind. It's fine. Is that just sunk down? Why? Stop it. I wish the platforms worked better. Why does it need to sink down? There's a fucking bit of flooring there. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? I'm lifting you up with the nine key. Nine? Nine. The nine key. I'm little I'm I'm gonna lift you up with the nine key. Okay. Yes. Okay, there's that's happened. And I think I'm gonna get in. i I've used this to death in this household, but I don't care. I'm gonna use it here as well. Oh, stunning. Absolutely. Oh, he would have a computer. Mm, so maybe instead of a bed table i'm gonna do a desk on this side i think oh there's another stretch blue oh that was very nice i give that one a nine out of ten he's ready for his walk that's why he keeps stretching he's doing his pre-yoga before his walk after this recording <laughs> anyway <laughs> moving on moving on do we just have a plain you know desk a plain black one square desk no we don't okay so i will use a dining table instead yes yes i will not you, though. It still needs to be semi... Yeah, like you. Glass. Yeah, we'll do this. This is fine. This is fine. I, I I, would say he would probably have a laptop anyway, so he can carry it. Maybe drink in a few of the cafes and be on his laptop. So I'm for that. Um, money is no object with this family either, so I'm not going to too worry about the budget. We have got 600,000 smolians there, my loves. Um, so this is... As I said, this area here is the kind of elite, kind of prestige, kind of people have a lot of money area um but not millionaires the millionaires are going to be the two other bigger lots if you know what i mean and i've got some very interesting sims in mind for those places so keep an eye out my loves keep your eyes open yes anyway moving on blue 
I will take you out in a minute. Stop staring at me with those beautiful eyes. <laughs> Looking at me now like, I'm ready. I don't know if you are ready, but I'm ready. I'm ready for a walk. You didn't hear me. It's fine. Okay. And then one of these over here as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like I'm liking this area. I think it's showing his personalities. Again, still trying to keep it keep it minimal and minimalistic. What I do think needs to be in here is some posters. So I think I'm just gonna go and get them off of camera and get some posters in here too. Okay, we've got some posters around the room now just to reflect on his personality a bit more. And I think this one here is going to be a kind of sim it's supposed to be like the sim version of Pink Floyd, isn't it? That front cover? I'm sure it is. Maybe we could do a really famous musician who lives in this land as well. Maybe I just gave you a little hint as, as to who is actually going into this land. A very famous musician. Um, and yes, the end. Thank you for coming. Good day. Right. And I think I'm going to just put a hole. Yes, I'm going to do that up there because you can still see the wood down here. Oh, I like that. What a very sophisticated, lovely bedroom. I'm very much for that room. I very much am. Okay, and then we did do like a walkthrough. I'm just going to do like a toilet, shower and sink. And then these guys have got like their own shared ensuite. I kind of like that idea. Um, We will do that. Yes, I like his room. I think that's what I want this room to look like. Very stylish, very now, very in. Um, And I think we'll move on to Cassandra's. Over into Cassandra's side. Now, I reckon Cassandra, my Cassandra for this save file, I reckon she's going to be a gamer. I reckon she is maybe really like quite well known on um, a streaming website, a certain streaming website. And that is what she spends a lot of her time doing. I was wondering whether to use like something like this in here. So it almost feels like a little mini apartment moment. I don't like the color of that, though, to be honest. Uh, what about you? I think you're going to be exactly the same, aren't you? I forget what color it comes out when it comes down. Just so she's got room to have her little streaming setup as well. I think I might do that, you know. I might do. Just so she's got enough room to have a little streaming setup. I'm kind of feeling that vibe. Maybe I should just go for this one and put it over here. Let me see how far that's going to come. Okay, and then I can have like the desk here. <clears throat> I would want the desk against the window, actually. So maybe we could just use a normal bed, to be honest. I don't think she would be about a Murphy bed life. She's a little bit too glam for that, to be honest. We use that one in here. I do want... Let me find a perfect bed for Cassandra. So I've swapped the beds over. I've used this one here from City Living in Alexander's room. And I think this one here just looks a little bit better for Cassandra. It's a little bit more, I don't know, a bit more dressy. Looks a bit nicer. So I'm going to do it. Yes. And then I'm going to use the same lines in this room here as well. Yes, I am. Yes, it's happening. Um, So I need that kind of like YouTube setup thing, don't I really? If she's going to be like a YouTuber or live streamer. I just wanted like a, I wish they would have like a gaming setup with like, I know you can get custom content and stuff with like lights and stuff and where they can sit down and play game things. But I don't think we've got that. I may just make one. I'm just going to make one rather than using that thingy my bob. <laughs> and I'm going to use, oh, they haven't got a corner desk. I'm always shocked that they do not have a corner desk in The Sims. Always very, very shocked at it. I think they're missing out big time there. Um, so a nice desk. I'm going to go for that base game one. I still really, really like this base game desk. Uh, I still think the graphics look really good on it as well. So I'm going to use it. Yes, I am. Yes. I'm going to use this one. Can I like, how far can I push you in before you start going into the window? I can't really tell, to be honest. The reason I'm putting it on a diagonal is because I do want to get like a little um light behind it. Or maybe a couple. If I can get a couple in there, it'd be even nicer. But... The light in question is this one here. Oh, it's very large. Very large. I think one's going to do, darling. I think one is going to do. I can put this like behind here. Yes, very, very nice. And then I'm going to put a nice PC. I would like to see a gaming PC as well with multiple screens. Like, can we have that please, Sims team? Thank you very much. Goodbye. Yes, I'm very much for that. Okay. And then what I'll do 
is what I've done multiple, multiple, multiple times. And use this one here to make it look like there's like a triple screen moment going on here, you know. Yes, I'm very much for that. Very much am. And I think you can kind of live stream from the PC anyway. Is that right? Am I thinking that right? Um, they're not in the right position. Not at all. So I'm going to try and get it in a better position. Here and here. And then whip you. Nope, you're too far back now. You utter piece of shit. <laughs> um, so do they need to come like right forward? I think they do. Yeah, round about like there maybe. Let's see this. Shall we together? Oh, no. No, they need to be closer in. Round about there. And the same with you as well, darling. Oh. <laughs> oh, stop it. For goodness. Right. And then I'm going to squeeze you in there. Come on. Come on. Don't go into the window. Is that... Oh, they're a bit wonky. They're a bit wonky, but I don't care. Oh, that's better. Yes. Very much for that as well. And then what I'm going to do is probably use the same... No, I'm not. I'm going to use a gaming chair. Even though they are very uncomfortable and I do hate mine, I must admit. I've I've mentioned this to you guys quite often. If you're looking for a chair to game on, please don't get a gaming chair. They're really bad for your back. They're not comfortable. Um, Yeah, go for an orthopedic. Go for an orthopedic if you're spending a lot of time by your PC. I wish I did that from the very beginning. I really much do. Okay, yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, that looks like a nice little setup there we've got going on. I think what we would put back here is a bookshelf, but not this bookshelf here. I wanted to use something a little bit different. So let me have a little look. We'll go for that one. Um, I don't know where this one comes from, actually. Where are you from? You are from Seasons. Okay, so I'm going to use this one here. And then I think what I'll put in there is maybe some like collectibles. So oh, let me go and find them. There, just to keep, keep, just a cheeky couple of little collectibles up there i like it again sticking with the minimal theme we're going for minimal minimalism is the mantra for this whole house my loves for this whole house and then what i will do on this side is put a nice little side table um i could probably go a bit higher with the side table there yeah i think i could and it has got a dark black one as well which is very nice do you come in a gray do you come in oh you do oh the gray's nicer gray the gray tones in the sims like to me this has got like a purple undertone to it this is very much just a nice like plain gray like a nice blue kind of gray well not blue it's more charcoal but i wish they would just stick to the same tones the end thank you for coming um lighting i do want maybe something a little bit more romantic like some candles or something in here not this one because that's the sacred candles and we don't want this lot to be haunted do we not at all um that's not going to go up there because they got green on them i don't want red no nope, they're not the ones they are not the vibe uh, oh maybe you yeah with the little plant on it yeah that would be cool yes very much for that can i get a I think they, no, I was just about to say, can I get books up here? But I think this specific one, you can actually get books from it because there are books on it. Um, we'll go for that. Okay. And here I'm thinking something that looks a little bit more gamery, if you know what I mean. These ones do, but I would prefer them if they were in a frame. We do have them in a frame. I'm sure of it. What? Oh, and there's my delivery. Oh, do excuse me. How very rude of them to come when I'm recording. Um, did you hit blue? <laughs> There's someone at the door. <laughs> He's so cute. So, so cute. Um, why has all of a sudden my mouse gone really fast? Stop it. Oh, there we go. That's better. Um, yes, put, put a couple of these up. A couple of games. Favourite games. She is a very much of a Sims fan, is Cassandra. Little does she know. She is being controlled by somebody else. And she is, in fact, a computer character herself. Like we all are, because we are all living in the simulation. Just want to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very much for that. Very much for that indeed. Now, I think this would be the perfect place to put in a wardrobe down this way. <gasps> oh, did I even put one? Oh, my Lord. I didn't even put one. I bet you so many people were screaming about that. 
Oh, I might have to get rid of this now. Oh, I bet you were fuming when you were seeing I wasn't putting a wardrobe in there. But Alexander, that was a shame because that bookcase looked really nice in there. Maybe I could put that bookcase in here instead then because I really liked the look of it. I just didn't want to copy it over to Cassandra's. So instead, we're going to put this in here now. Can I put you in there? What about another snap point anywhere? Down the bottom. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, no, that's nice. I like that. And then what I can do here is put in the wardrobe from City Living. I think that would suit in here. Oh, you don't come in a black, really? I thought this had a black version. Okay, well, there we go. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to use the same one for Cassandra as well? I think I do. Okay, right, we're going to do it. Same one for Cassandra down there as well. Ah, oh, stunning. All of their clothing and whatnot. Oh, I'm very much for that. Really am. And I'm going to use this one here that I've used to death throughout the whole place. But I don't care because it's iconic and I love it. And I just love the little book detail underneath of it. I think it's nice. Put that there. And I think she would need some kind of music thing as well. So I'm going to use a nice stereo in here. And I think I'll just use maybe the base game one. This one here. Yeah. We'll pop that just to the side there. Um, just do need some lighting around this side though. Because it's very dark over this side very dark even not stark i put two there like that oh i'm for that very much am and i think i'm gonna use the rug in here as well i am it's happening it's done oh why wouldn't you fit there but you will oh no oh no it doesn't even fit in there oh for goodness fucking sake um can i grab this rug please thank you Thank you. And then I'll just do one here. That's a shame. Or can I just put it there? Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I prefer it like that. I prefer it like that. I thought that fit. My God. Failing. Failing big time. And I'll put you just there as well. Yeah, no, that's cute. I do enjoy that. And I think she would have a plant in her room as well. So I'm going to put a nice bushy plant. Um... I don't really want to use that one because of the under and the fact that it darkens the shadow down on it, which is infuriating. Maybe we could put a quite a, yeah, that looks nice in here. Nice big array of plants in Cassandra's room. I'm going to turn it that way though, so I can put it flusher against the window. Oh, I'm for that. Very much for that. Yes, I like how our room is. Again, as I said, keeping it minimal. Very nice indeed. What I'll do off of camera is I'll furnish these two bathrooms. You know, I just don't enjoy doing bathrooms. And I'll do this hallway a little bit as well. And he's like a little seating area and stuff here. But for now, it's done. So I think we'll go into game. And I'm just going to get everybody up into their rooms doing stuff. Um, You can come up here and you can play Sims Forever, my love. This is your bed. So we need to assign the bed to you. Lovely. Lock door for everyone but Cassandra and then allow access access to the butler so he can come and clean the top. Yes, that's happening. And then Alexander, you need to come up here and you need to start mix, produce a new track. Um, Gom Gabro, exactly. And then I'm going to assign this bed to you. Lovely jubbly. We're going to lock this door for everyone but Alexander. And then I'm going to allow ex access to the butler. And then more to my, my love. This is your bed. Sign the right side of the bed to you. And then lock the door for everyone but Mortimer. And allow access to the butler. Stunning. Oh, it's very, very nice. They have got a toilet downstairs, haven't they? Yes, they got this big bathroom here. Oh, I'm very much for that. Very much. Why are they not coming upstairs? Okay, it was that weird invisible fence bug that was stopping them from going up the stairs. Very fuming about it. Get in here. And play Sims Forever, my darling. And you need to come in here and produce a new track, which is called Gomka Bro. Very, very happening. And then you, my love, can just go to bed. Because it's very late at night. And it's Tuesday. They should all be in bed, really. But, you know, I just wanted to see them in their habitat. See if they suit the rooms. Oh, they do, look. Very much for that, I am. Yes. And then we'll go in this room over here. Alexander's room as well. 
producing a new track very nicely with his Doc Martens on. I'm very much for it. Yeah, no, that's cute. I like that. And then we're going to go into Mortimer's bedroom and see him in bed. Oh, he's wearing his suit in bed. Oh, I need to make sure to get some um, laundry baskets. Is the butler coming in? <gasps> Are they going to sleep together? Hopefully. <laughs> What did he Ooh, just like try to clean up then? Nothing. Anyway, I'm getting carried away. So, this room, this house is done. We are finished with the goth household. I love the look of it. I love how we've done a modern goth household. I think it was very much needed. I'll make sure to level up their skills as well to reflect on their personalities and stuff. Um, but yes, we are done. There we are, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for joining me on this goth adventure. I had a real fun time building this lot. I did. We're moving on to another one this week. Another one for Willow Creek. Let's build the worlds. So be on the lookout for that, my darling. I'll be back tomorrow with a Design Me Devon. Um, and I'll be live on Twitch tonight as well, playing some Sims. I think we're going to be playing around with the new Paranormal Pack. If you do want to come along and join me. 7pm GMT. See you there. Goodbye.